Hi guys, this is Karan Krishnan, research microbiologist, clinical researcher, and your friendly neighborhood super nerd. Here to talk to you about stuff that's really important, um, which is uh, aging. So a lot of people ask me about the impact of aging on the gut, or vice versa. How does the gut play a role in the aging process? Um, and, and the things that we're most concerned about, you know, number one, dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. Uh, between Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, these are the number one and number two neurodegenerative diseases in the world. They affect tens of millions of people across the world every year. And they're some of the most scariest diseases. Alzheimer's, of course, because you're losing your mind, your identity. Parkinson's, you're losing all motor function. Very, very scary diseases, all of which have not had a cure developed so far. But here's the good news. We figured out what the actual cause of these conditions are. So in September of 2017, a paper was published showing the primary cause of Alzheimer's. And as it turns out, it's a certain gut toxin that's made by about 70% of the bacteria that live in your gut. These are called gram-negative bacteria. They have a toxin in their cell membrane called LPS, lipopolysaccharide. Now it's perfectly normal to have these bacteria. In fact, they make up the vast majority of your good bacteria as well. Um, and it's perfectly normal to have this toxin. The problem occurs when your gut is leaky and it's leaky chronically for a long period of time. And this toxin that's released in the gut ends up leaking through the intestinal lining, ending up in your blood, and then can circulate through your body. That's when it causes a problem. This LPS, once it leaks through, that's a gut endotoxin, once it leaks through, can actually circulate through your body, get into your brain, and start an inflammatory reaction in your brain that leads to the beta plaquing that's seen in Alzheimer's. So that September 2017 paper definitively showed what the actual cause of Alzheimer's is. It's a gut-associated toxin that leaks through because of leaky gut. So the, your gut plays a paramount role in whether or not you have a high risk of developing Alzheimer's. Or if you already are suffering from early signs of Alzheimer's, what your risk is for the, for the disease to progress. So that's a really, really important thing to keep in mind. Now, as it turns out, the same mechanism is behind Parkinson's as well. That same endotoxin, LPS, will leak through enter your circulatory system and actually go into your central nervous system and disrupt neurological signaling, signaling in your central nervous system. Again, two, two conditions, the two most um, prevalent neurodegenerative conditions, both start with the same type of leaky gut. So it's really important to address the leakiness of your gut if we're concerned about age-related disorders. Now, how do you address the leakiness of your gut? We published a paper in 2017 showing that when you use the spore-based probiotics, it actually slows down and stops leaky gut uh, by as much as 60% in the first 30 days. So there's a significant benefit to adding in your spore-based probiotic. Of course, maintaining a healthy, diverse diet, reducing things that end up killing bacteria in your gut, like uh, reducing your exposure to Roundup and glyphosate, reducing processed foods which have preservatives and artificial colors and flavors that all act like antibiotics in your gut, um, increasing your diet of organic um, and, and even homegrown produce and fruits. All of these things that kind of give diversity in the microbiome also will play a significant role. Now I mentioned that word, the D word, diversity. That's the other key part of it. A study published this year showed that people that live to the age of 90 and above who tend to be really healthy and have very low risk and no presence of chronic illness tend to maintain a high diversity in their microbiome compared to people who age even until the 70s with significant number of chronic illnesses. So one of the big compounding factors of whether or not you're gonna have healthy aging, how long you'll live, seems to be the diversity in your microbiome. So those people that were 90 plus and had very healthy lives and healthy outcomes, their diversity was similar to, the, to someone who was in their 20s and 30s. And that's why they maintained health for a long period of time. This was a study published by the University of Arkansas. So maintaining diversity becomes paramount. How do you maintain diversity? Well, diversity in your diet, 
fasting to some degree weekly. Fasting actually increases the diversity of the microbiome. I, I do the 16 hour intermittent fasting, so I'm fasting for 16 hours a day and I'm eating all of my calories within the eight hour period. Um, and then taking in the spore-based probiotics. We just submitted a paper for publication that shows that the spore probiotics can increase diversity in your microbiome as much as 50% in as little as three weeks. So it's quite a significant benefit towards a healthy aging type of outcome. So again, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, driven by leaky gut, so you've gotta stop the leakiness in the gut. Overall healthy aging and longevity is driven by increased diversity in your microbiome, so you, can in, you should focus on increasing and maintaining diversity in the microbiome, and you will age gracefully and beautifully all the way into your deep hundreds. Thank you.